Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. How are you? I'd like to just say real quick, uh, explain how this works. I see, hear, feel, sense, know. They show me pictures. They talk to me, but they show me pictures, and I call it spiritual charades. Um, I will describe the picture to you the best way I can. They don't always tell you what you want to know. They tell you what you need to know. So sometimes sometimes you, this charades thing, you got to stretch it out of the box a little bit. This is not an exact science. They just, we communicate the best way we can. So don't, don't throw the whole thing out if something doesn't make sense at this time because you'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. So we're going to see what uh, we're going to see what Frank has to say. Okay. And he's walking in. Uh, Megan, Megan sent me a picture of him, and he's walking in, looking like that, with no shirt on. He's got his oxygen on. Um, He's going, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. I'm happy. I'm good. I love you from the bottom of my heart. He says, old Frankie is still around. All right, so they always make me itch when they get real close. Um, I don't know how you'll feel this because it's, it's hard to explain to somebody who doesn't do that now. So I'm getting itchy, sorry. Their energy does that to me. Um, it's like my whole head feels like there's a balloon around the outside of my head. It's like I feel this. It's not a headache type pressure because that would be on the inside and it would hurt. This is like pressure like like the air is heavier right around right around my head so let me see if he's doing this or he's saying you're doing this to yourself I, he's not saying Okay, he's saying he's putting this bubble around your head, and it feels it feels like a bubble around my head to try to help you contain your thoughts, to try to bring you this intense, loving energy, calming energy, but it's all around your head. I've never seen that before. That, oh, it's hard to explain in a short little video. Um, but you should feel it. And I, I don't know how somebody else is going to feel the energy, but you should feel it's it's like it's like this far out. There's like this pressure, but it's not. The air is just the pressure is just different. It's not something like pressing it on your head. It's not like something squeezing your brain. It's it's just like this bubble that he's he's using. He says there's there's some kind of guilt you're holding as far as him and the end of his life. And he just wants he's showing me a picture of you standing there and he just reaches out and grabs you and hugs you and pulls you into him. And he's been being pretty intense with this. And just letting you almost crumble while he's holding you and telling you it's gonna be okay. 
that you need to let go of it. And you could even possibly feel his arms around you and it won't feel like human. Oh, that sounds kind of creepy. Sorry. It won't feel like arms. It'll feel like you could just feel because um, it's going, he's going around your back. So you could like feel goosebumps, pins and needles. You could feel real intense heat across there all of a sudden. But more than that, you're going to feel just this intense feeling of love as you let it go. And that's coming from him. Did he show me it? He showed me a picture of a little kid, a little, and I, I hate guessing ages, a little kid on a bike out in front of a house on the sidewalk. And he's got a little cowboy hat on. And then he shows me the image of Woody from Toy Story. Like the little kid is kind of dressed up like Woody. With the little cowboy hat and the blue jeans. I don't know if, if this is... Um, a memory and if it's a memory <laughs> if it's a memory that he has of you outside like that you might be too young to remember it and I asked them not to do that so it needs to be something you remember or you have a picture of or else you have a child that has just done this somebody really young around you that has just done this but he keeps showing me the picture of Woody next to the bicycle next to the, so somehow maybe the kid's name is Woody or starts with a W I don't know um, your name doesn't, so I'm not sure how he's, how he's pulling that together. Now he's showing an image of him laying on a couch. He's not feeling good. You come up and you pull the blanket up on him and you tuck him in, kind of. And even if even if the, the picture he's showing me isn't the right room, it doesn't matter. It's that he's showing me he's like he's home, he's comfy, he's on the couch, but he's he's not feeling well. And you come up and you pull the blanket up, kind of tuck him in, make sure he's warm. Even if it was in a hospital room or wherever it was, it doesn't matter. But he's showing, he, he might be showing the image of him on the couch because that's the way he felt. He felt like he was at home. He was comfy. He knew you were there. He's, he's saying when he left, Grandma was waiting for him. I'm not sure if he means your grandma or his grandma. I think he means his grandma. She was waiting for him and she had what looked like it looks like a metal, metal like pie pan, you know, like you would bake a sheet cake in, but she's got it turned around to the back side of it, the bottom side of it, and she's got what looks like a rolling pin and she's beating it. Evidently grandma used to do this like when you were when they were outside and she needed to get their attention, tell them to come in. Um time to come in, time to eat. She would take a metal metal cookie sheet type, some kind of metal pan and take something like a rolling pin and beat on it. So everybody would hear it so they would know get their butt in the house. <laughs> he said that's what she was doing when he left. She was calling him home. And he heard it just like he perked up. And he, he heard that familiar noise. And he knew that's where he needed to go. And he was okay with it. He was okay with his decision. 
Now he wants you to be okay with his decision. He says, let me go, but I am there. I am there. He's showing, he's showing a wisp of smoke, but it doesn't look like cigarette smoke because it looks like more than cigarette smoke. I don't know if it would be a, an outside fire. It, it doesn't look big enough to be like a bonfire type smoke, but it's bigger than holding a cigarette smoke. So they just, they don't give me all the details because it's none of my business. They give me enough so that you understand what they're talking about. So whatever this smoke is between a bonfire and a cigarette, sorry, I can't, that's a little, that's pretty vague. Whatever that smell would be, you're going to smell that, or you have smelled that, and you will continue to smell that. And you could be in your car, in Walmart, in your house. It doesn't matter. You'll get this smell of, I would say, I want to say it's more like coal burning, or doesn't seem, it's not cigarette. It doesn't seem to be a wood fire. More like, I don't want to say chemical. Um, like hot tar fire smell of smoke. Um, that smell, that smell that you would relate to him, you can, you'll get that in a lot of places. And when you do, you say, I know that you did. I love you. Bring me more. And that kind of opens a floodgate. And then you'll just start getting all these, all these signs, all these signs from him. He's holding. He's holding a yellow lily and he's putting it behind his ear. I don't know if you took him a flower like that and he's showing you that he's kept it. He says, I love you, boy. You make me proud. And as he kind of puffs out his chest a little bit, you make me proud. Those thoughts you have where you think that you have not made me proud and you're, and you're still not going to continue to make me proud, you're wrong. You have made me proud and you still do. Just tell him I love him. Tell him I love him. So now he's, he's holding up a bell. And the bell's about about that tall, the bottom part of it, of course, with, this, with the handle on it. It's one of those bells, like a dinner bell. And he's ringing it, so you're also going to, so it won't be very loud. It won't be as loud if, if the bell was real right by your ear or something like that. But you're going to hear this, this ringing of the bell. So it won't be like the chimes on your porch. It'll be different, and you will hear it every so often, especially if you're, If you're having a thought, certain thoughts that will come up, you're going to hear this little, you're going to hear this bell. And you really, usually don't hear it through these ears. You hear it through these ears. And there are ears up there. Once you get used to it, you'll understand, he says. So whenever you hear that, you're supposed to pay attention to whatever thought that is. If it's a negative thought, you're supposed to pay attention to it and change it. If it's a good thought, he's just saying, hello, I love you. He mentions the name Jimmy, and I stink at names. I don't know why. So it's at least a male with a J or a J-I name, and he's acknowledging And then he comes up behind me and he tries to put his hands around like this to go. And I heard peekaboo. I heard peekaboo. He says, peekaboo, I see you. 
I promise you a thousand percent he can hear you. He can see you. I, I don't I don't do my readings where I every single thing I say is some kind of a validation of that. We get one or two, hopefully. They're supposed to give me one or two things that you know for sure it's them. And the rest of it is him giving his message. He says, I do love you, boy. And he says, you did everything right towards the end. You did the best you could. It's all okay, and I'm okay. And once again, he wants to give you that big hug. And let you cry on his chest. You can't always be strong. Just don't stay there. Okay, with that, he's going to go. Um... I was going to say, <laughs> much, much love to you. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. Much love to you.